Congestive heart failure usually comes in diabetes patients from ischemic heart disease or lack of blood supply to different parts of your heart muscle because you plugged it up with a lot of fat and lipids and different types of atherogenic agents related to diabetes. So you lose the artery and you lose one and you lose another one and you're not losing the big ones sometimes, you're losing the small ones. Smokers lost the big ones, but you're nipping off all the little branches all the way to what feeds the myocardial cells. So your heart now does not have enough power to meet the actual metabolic demands of the body. It can't keep up with what the body's asking for. So what happens is you get short of breath. You probably notice that in the morning, you may have to get up during the night and have to urinate a couple of times when you didn't used to have to. That's because the water that was in your feet, if you pushed on your actual bone in your leg, you'd find it kind of pits in like putty. In the morning, it wouldn't pit so much because when you lay flat at night, all of the blood, all the uh, fluid in your legs is running back to your heart and you're pumping it back out your heart again. And now it clears overnight. That's why you have to get up at night to go to the bathroom. So people that have symptoms of heart failure are short of breath. You may have to sit up to uh, sleep very well. You can't lay flat because your lungs are filling up with water because your heart can't pump it out. And it's because you've caused damage to your heart muscle and it's not a good pump anymore. So that is preventable if you start early with the treatment of diabetes and hopefully start it before you even get diabetes.